Good morning, fellow fig friends. This is PA Figs, and it is February. February, but 70 degrees outside. It is absolutely spectacular, so I figured, uh, what better of a time to start moving some of these figs into the greenhouse to give them a little bit of an early start for the season. Uh, the heater's been working out real well. It actually keeps it warmer in here than I would have liked. Uh, not because it's bad for the figs, but it's bad for my wallet. It's going to use uh, more gas than I thought. We're waiting to see the first bill, but uh, well, it's warm enough in here today, that's for sure. So even with the uh, vents open and the door open, it's still staying at 90 in here. And you hear the fan coming on. Let me shut a door and get back to you. All right, sorry, I'm gonna open a door. Let some cooler air in. Turn that fan off just because it's loud. You can see my uh, Martinenka Ramada is uh, growing like a storm here. So it even has a couple of small figs on it, if you can see them there. So it is really liking the greenhouse being heated. So it's, it's coming alive. Moved a couple of other figs in here. Let's see, I've got my uh, Genovese Nero with an air layer left over from last year that didn't take. Hoping that'll take in the spring here. I should probably trim that and, you know, uh, give away or sell a cutting because it's getting a little bit lengthy. Next to it, I've got one of my I-258s. It really put on a lot of growth at the end of last year. So uh, we'll get that guy an early start. One of my smaller Black Madeiras here. Gotta have an early start at Black Madeira. I mean, if I could have started Black Madeira in December, I would have, because if I could eat them all year round, I absolutely would. Maltese Beauty. Uh, this is my, what is this again? This is my uh, Bordesote Negra Ramada. And I think this guy here, let's see, is a Borgia Segrise. A Pote de Caval, Colde Dama Ramada. And a couple of others. I've just got a Colidami Blanc here. Just That was one of my guinea pigs to see if uh, the greenhouse would stay warm enough. And you can see it's coming out of dormancy and leafing out. And a uh, bumper Satsuma Orange behind it, which is really loving the greenhouse. I mean, really liking it. So uh, what this video is really about is a couple of things I'm going to try. So before I get to that, actually, you can see over here, I've got some cuttings that I started in seed starter mix and you can see they're starting to come alive I don't see any roots on the cups yet but I do see life so we'll see how that works out now over here I'm actually starting to pot some cuttings directly into pots and what I'm hoping is over the next couple of months they'll root and uh, leaf out and then what I'd like to do is sell a couple at farmers markets so you know the pots I think are a dollar you know, a little bit of soil and a little bit of cuttings. So if I can sell them for, you know, five, ten dollars, not to make profit as much as just to, uh, you know, meet some new people and have a little fun this this spring here. So we'll see how it goes. And let me show you how I uh, am potting these up. Okay, so here's the plan. I've got a old terracotta pot that I'm not using anymore, and I want to actually fill it with. Uh, a soil mixture that'll help the cutting root, but also allow it to survive for a couple of months in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take an old toilet paper tube, and I'm going to set it in the center. Just like that. The outside I'm going to fill with regular potting mix, and the inside I'm going to fill with seed starter. And then I'll put the fig cutting right in the center in the, in the seed starter in hopes that it'll help it root. But yet, I won't have to up-pot it here in, you know, a month when it roots out. I'm hoping I can just leave it in here and grow it. So, let me go ahead and get some potting mix. Okay, so as you can see, I now have the potting mix on the outside and the empty toilet paper holder on the inside. So now I'm going to go ahead and put some of my seed starting mix inside of the center. There's cleaner ways to do this, but I don't really care if they if they mix a little bit, so I'm just gonna take this guy and fill it up. Okay, and I'm gonna compact it down a little bit because this is dry seed starter mix, so it is very uh, fluffy. More. Okay, so that's in there. So now comes the hard part, which is getting the toilet paper holder out. 
And you could probably leave the toilet paper holder in if you wanted to, but uh, why well, take the chance? And plus, I want to do a few more, so I want to reuse it. And I don't use that much toilet paper. Okay, so I'm going to put my finger in here and just slowly work this out. And it, it, it tries to pull up with it, so you definitely need to be a little bit careful. Let's see. Okay. So now it's hard to see because I made a little bit of a mess, but that center area should be pretty much completely seed starter mix. Now I'm going to take my Rondé de Bordeaux cutting, and I haven't actually uh, marked up the bottom of it yet. I'll actually usually scrape off just a little bit of the bottom here where the green shows through just to help it root a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that. Usually I can just find a sharp edge or something like that. I normally have a knife. I don't have my knife on me. So we're going to have to try something different. So you can see, just marked it up a little bit. You don't want to go too deep. Just want to mark it up a little bit so that green shows through, and then it'll help with the rooting process. Probably even go a little further. You can even use your fingernail, apparently. But you can see I've got, got that green showing through nicely now. I'm going to do that on both sides. Okay, just like that. Now, that is ready to go in pot. So here's my pot. I'm just gonna stick it right in the center there. And what I like to do is measure usually. I don't want it to touch the bottom of the pot, so I gotta just figure out how far down. So about there from the edge. So in the center of the pot, put it down, right about there, back fill it a little bit. Get it nice and straight, just so it looks nice. And water it in and we'll be set. So that is my uh, fig in a pot. And we'll see how it works. Let me get some water. I'm just gonna water it in. The, the seed starting mix, I do notice, it really takes a lot of water to absorb. It uh, It's really dry and, and it takes quite a bit of water to actually fluff up or to, to moisten up. But with the potting mix around it, that potting mix will absorb the water pretty quickly. So I'm just gonna spray it down, just like I did. Not a ton of water, but enough. And that potting soil should stay pretty moist, but the inside seed, st seed starter should stay not wet, because any extra moisture will be absorbed by that potting soil. So I'm hoping that it'll prevent the cutting from actually rotting, from getting too wet. But yet when the fig gets a little bit older and starts shooting the roots out, they'll have a little extra moisture and water in that potting soil to, to support the leaves as they grow. Sounds good, right? Uh, we'll see if it works. I have no idea if it will, but we're gonna keep trying. Also, these terracotta pots, if you use them, I don't recommend them. It's, this is really just for looks. Uh, the terracotta dries out very quickly and you have to water constantly. So I, I do like the way they look. If you like a terracotta pot, Put a plastic pot inside of the terracotta if you're going to keep something in it for long term. This is just short term, a couple months. After the farmer's market, people should be up potting these anyway because a fig's not going to last real long in a, in a pot that size. So we'll see what happens. I'll try to remember to update everybody. Hope you guys are enjoying some of this warm weather as well. And I'm PA Figs. Happy almost spring. We're getting there, guys. Not that much longer. Have a good one.